this is our air powered turret cannon. First of all, it has pan tilt. If you look down here, you'll see a series of little wheels that allows it to go this direction. There's a bolt that holds this bottom plate on. And then there's a seesaw type thing that holds this, this on. So you can basically aim it any direction you want. Now, we have this, is an air powered cannon. So we have it hooked up to a hose. And if you actually followed this hose, it's really long, you wouldn't want to, but it goes all the way to our air compressor inside the shop. Okay, now this is a camera so that we can see what's going on inside the shop if we want to fire it. We put a sight on with this uh, airsoft gun sight. I'm not sure you can really see that, but let me show you how it works. There's a box, and then inside this box is a battery pack and some other things that I'll show you later. And they go up to this, they wire up to this button that's being bypassed, just acting like a wire because we've pressed it down. This button I'll show you, we'll fire the gun if I press it. See? Watch. Three, two, one. That pressed and it allowed power to go through the system to the solenoid valve, which opened up and let the air from this into the, into the barrel and shoot whatever was in there out. There wasn't anything in there right now, because we're just doing a little tutorial showing you how it works. Now if you want to do it for remote control, this is what you do. You don't press this button, you just leave this button alone. You do not want to touch this button, just leave it over there. You just use a remote control, like this. We use the, um, we use the helicopter remote control. And then to aim it, you put these on, these, this duct tape. We put on this duct tape. Actually, I need some more duct tape. Put on this duct tape, and it will act as it will hold the gun in place, and it will also um, ha let it have a little bit of recoil, but not too much, so it flips back. Now let's shoot this. You turn on that. You see the red LED is glowing. Make sure all systems are go. This button is pressed down. The receiver is on. And this should work now. Let's see. Three, two, one. Yeah. So I can shoot it from my remote control. Watch. I'll do it again. Three, two, one. And it shoots it. It's pretty cool.